Welcome to Human Endeavors. Today we'll be exploring the, the top 5 dictatorships by highest death toll. We will only include the events caused by dictators. So let's first define what is meant by a dictatorship. A dictatorship is a form of government where one person or political party has the power to do whatever they want. The ruler is called a dictator in a dictatorship. The individual's rights are generally speaking suppressed. Let's start off the list at number 5 with the Japanese War Holocaust from 1895 to 1945. War crimes took place in many Pacific and Asian countries during the period of Japanese imperialism. This mostly occurred during the Second Sino-Japanese War and World War II. These events are identified as the Asian Holocaust. In the late 19th century, the crimes committed were mostly committed by Japanese Empire, primarily the military personnel, although most of the crimes were committed during the first part of Showa era. Name given to the Emperor Hirohito's rule until his surrender to the Japanese Empire in 1945. Some historians and governments hold Japanese military forces, namely the Imperial Japanese Army, the Imperial Japanese Navy and the Japanese Imperial Family, particularly under Emperor Hirohito, responsible for the deaths of millions, some estimate between 3 and 14 million civilians, and prisoners of war by genocide, human experimentation, malnutrition and forced labor, either actively committed or condoned by the Japanese army and government. Some Japanese soldiers have acknowledged committing these crimes. At number 4, we have the mass killings under Chinese nationalist government from 1928 to 1946. China's nationalist government has been charged with mass killings, as Rudolf Rumel reports that China's nationalist government is responsible for between 6 and 18.5 million deaths. These are the major causes where the death tolls are attributed. One million Chinese civilians starved or died to fight communist advance. Hundreds of thousands of communists and peasants killed in political repression. 1.7 to 2.5 million Chinese who are starving to death because grain has been seized and sold to other peasants for the benefit of officials of the nationalist government. 4.2 million Chinese who died during horrific conscription campaigns before even entering combat due to starvation or death from disease. To stop the Japanese advance, 440,000 to 893,000 Chinese civilians died in a man-made flood by the nationalists. At number 3, we have the Nazi Holocaust from 1939 to 1945 during World War II. Nazi Holocaust against the Jews, Poles, Gypsies, Serbs, East Slavs, persons with disabilities, homosexuals, Freemasons, POWs, and Jehovah's Witnesses were systematically assassinated in a genocide that was part of a larger event inducing the persecution and assassination of other peoples in Europe. Under the coordination of the SS with directions from the Nazi party's highest leadership, Every arm of German bureaucracy was involved in both the logistics and the mass murder carried out. Murders occurred in German-occupied Europe and within Nazi Germany, and throughout all territories controlled by its allies. Other Nazi crime victims included ethnic Poles, Ukrainians and other Slavs, Soviet citizens and Soviet prisoners of war, communists, homosexuals, Jehovah's Witnesses and others. Around 42,500 detention facilities have been used for the concentration of victims to commit gross human rights violations. It's reported that over 200,000 people were victims of the Holocaust. The persecution took place in stages, resulting in the final solution strategy of genocide. The best estimate regarding the number of people killed is 17,000, just in the final solution. At the number of two spot, is the Stalinist crimes against humanity and genocide between 1922 and 1953. The millions killed by starvation, purges, labor camps, population transfers, deportations, and NKVD massacres under Joseph Stalin's government. The minimum death toll 
uses the minimum post archive calculations from those not killed in starvation that range from 4 to 10 million after the fall of the USSR and the minimum number of those killed in famine ranging from 6 to 8 million. The book The Great Terror started with an estimate of 30 million, putting it down to 20 million a few years later and not less than 15 million died in his latest revision. Prior to the release of the archives, estimates put those killed by Stalin as little as 3 million people and as high as 60 million people. The final spot on the list is Mao Zedong, Catastrophes from 1946 to 1976. Mao Zedong's critics have argued that Mao's China saw catastrophic losses of human life through inhumane economic policies such as the Great Leap Forward, slave labor through the Lao Gai, violent political purges such as the Cultural Revolution Movement to suppress counter-revolutionaries, and class destruction through land reform. The minimum death though is the minimum estimate from famine around 15 million, plus the minimum estimate of land reform, which is around 0 0.8 million, plus minimum estimates of counter-revolutionaries, around 712,000, and the Cultural Revolution, which adds 400 more thousand people. The highest estimates of the death toll are as high as 70 million. That is it for the video. I hope you learned something new about these very important historic events. The scariest part of all of these catastrophes and genocides is the error of estimate. The idea that an estimate can be wrong by thousands or even millions is truly scary. <clears throat> it just shows you the true magnitude of these terrible events. This channel posts videos every single weekday, so please subscribe if you want to learn more about human endeavors.